We're going to have a brief look at an amplifier from MFJ, the ALS 500M, which is a 500 watt linear amplifier primarily designed for mobile work, but of course it could be used for base station use as well. So let's have a look at the front panel. Pretty simple really, as you'd expect with a uh, solid state amplifier you've got the main on off power there. When the power switch is off then the drive level uh, goes straight through to the antenna. On the other side you've got the band change switch and in the centre you've got the meter. Now this meter reads current rather than uh, power but for mobile use probably a current reading is more appropriate. Uh, the maximum power or current that this draws at 13.8 volts is 80 amps but that's a peak power. The average uh, power drawn would be in the region of about 40 amps. And the drive level is typically about 70 or 80 watts. So your 100 watt amplifier, so 100 watt transceiver, would quite easily uh, drive this uh, amplifier. If we go in a little closer, you'll see a couple of modular sockets here. Uh, these are designed for remote control use, uh, particularly uh, applicable for mobile operation where you want to uh, be able to switch the amplifier on and off, perhaps if it was in the boot of your car. Now if we take a look at the rear panel, you've got the expected input and output SO239 sockets. You've got the PTT line there, so you take a direct uh, uh, line from the PTT uh, or amplifier switching uh, point on your transceiver uh, into this uh, phono socket here. And then, then you've got this rather heavy duty Jones connector here, which is necessary because of the uh, high current that uh, this amplifier draws. And you get the appropriate uh, DC lead, of course. Amplifier needs a nominal. 13.8 volts. So there we have it, the Ameritron ALS 500M 500 watt amplifier. As I said at the outset, it's ideal for mobile use, and that was what it was primarily designed for. But it can be used as a base station amplifier, provided you can provide the appropriate power supply, then there's no reason why you can't use this as a very compact 500 watt UK legal limit amplifier. There you are another winner from MFJ Enterprises USA.